It is finished. The German East Asian squadron has been virtually destroyed. Vice Admiral Maximilian von Spee is dead, as are his two sons, Heinrich on the Neisenau and Otto on the Nuremberg. Four of the five German cruisers have been sunk, and in March 1915 the Dresden will be found and eliminated. Looking back over the Battle of the Falklands, we cannot help but notice the overwhelming superiority of the British in both numbers and firepower. It would have been remarkable had Admiral Von Spee escaped, or even won, the fight. As it was, the British had suffered their first proper naval defeat in over a century, and the Royal Navy wanted to destroy Von Spee's squadron before it could do even more damage to its prestige. The Admiralty sent two battle cruisers to hunt down and destroy the Germans' two armoured cruisers, which was exactly what the battle cruiser was designed to do. But the days of the armoured cruiser were numbered, and the Battle of Jutland was to prove battle cruisers death traps for their own crews, exploding with unnerving regularity. British gunnery during the battle was woefully inadequate particularly compared to that of the Germans. Further, problems created by a warship's own funnel smoke endangered the battle cruisers, allowing von Spee to get too close, thereby eliminating the battle cruiser's chief advantage, heavier guns at a greater ranges. The most critical British decision of the battle, however, belonged to one man, Captain John Luce of HMS Glasgow. He urged Sturdy to sail for the Falkland Islands earlier than the Vice Admiral had wanted or planned. If he hadn't, Sturdy's force would have been too late. Arriving at Port Stanley to find the wireless station destroyed, the coal burnt, and possibly the governor captured. Then, with so little coal, Sturdy would have faced a problem. Certainly, he would not have been able to chase von Spee over any great distance, and the German East Asian squadron would probably have successfully returned home. That this did not happen is down to Captain Luce's decision to press for an early departure. The most critical German decision was von Spee's idea to attack the Falkland Islands. This act would have been successful had he not delayed his rounding of Cape Horn to December, and we can be sure the ducks of Picton Island would have been happier too. And yet, had it not been for the early arrival of Sturdy's force, perhaps the delay would not have mattered. It is such easy sport for armchair admirals such as us to judge over a century after the fact. And yet, the Battle of the Falklands was a British victory. Prestige was restored to the Royal Navy, and Admiral von Spee and his cruisers would not return home. <laughs>